Hi, I hope you are doing well. Have you ever heard about Amsterdam? The capital of the Netherlands is Amsterdam, which is renowned for its rich artistic history, intricate canal system, and small homes with gabled facades that date back to the city's golden age in the 17th century. We will learn about the sites in Amsterdam in the video, so stay tuned, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. There are many things to do in Amsterdam, but these are our picks for the must-see sites in this progressive city. Albert Coat Market In the early 20th century, a group of street vendors first gathered on the busy Albert Kuipstraat to form this market. However, it has since developed into one of Europe's busiest markets. The market, named after the well-known artist Albert Kuip, is open every day of the week except Sundays. Over the past century, the market has expanded and has continued to change in response to consumer demand. Consequently, you can find food and produce from all over the world. There is no better area in Amsterdam for atmosphere, inexpensive meals, and inexpensive shopping. Moko Museum The Moko Museum, a relative newcomer to the scene, has quickly established a reputation as a must-see gallery. Despite being off the tourist trail, Moko is a private museum that gives visitors access to a permanent Banksy exhibition featuring more than 50 well-known pieces. Several replicas of Banksy murals, including the well-known girl with balloon, are also available. In addition to the well-known graffiti artist's creations, you can view revolving exhibits made by some of the top pop artists from around the globe. Nino Science Museum The Nino Science Museum is one of the top family-friendly attractions in Amsterdam. Children and adults of all ages can find interactive activities and information about the development of science throughout history inside the enormous green structure that resembles a mastless ship. The opportunity to design a series of chemistry experiments or experiment with the engineering behind building construction will appeal to curious minds. Take a break and enjoy the fantastic views of Amsterdam from the rooftop terrace. A cafe is also nearby where you can get refreshments and a light meal before going back for more fun. Dam Square, located in the center of Amsterdam, was established in the 15th century and has served as the city's focal point ever since. You will be able to see the lovely royal palace inside the square. The Dutch royal family continues to host dignitaries from all over the world at the royal palace. The palace is, however, accessible to both locals and visitors, which is good news. The National Monument, Madame Tussauds, and the New Kirk Church, which hosts art exhibitions all year long, are additional noteworthy attractions. The National Monument honors those who have died in battle. Adem Lookout You must visit Adem Lookout while visiting Amsterdam if you want to capture the city in epic photos or if you just enjoy a breathtaking view. The lookout was inaugurated in 2016 and is situated at an observation deck on the 20th floor, providing 360-degree views of canals and historic structures. Experience the over-the-edge attraction to up the ant. Europe's highest swing, which leads from the building's rooftop deck, is this thrill-seeking attraction. Additionally, you can eat at the well-known eateries Madame and Moon, which are located on floors 20 and 19, respectively. Stedelijk Museum Amsterdam There is a sizable contemporary art gallery in Amsterdam's museum district, right next to the Van Gogh Museum. Around 700 works by artists like Roy Lichtenstein, Piet Mondrian, and Vincent Van Gogh are on display as part of the Stedelijk Museum's permanent collection. However, due to the museum's reputation, the temporary exhibits are also memorable, giving both locals and repeat visitors many excuses to visit again. To round out the experience, the Stedelijk Museum also presents a year-round exhibit on the history of pinball machines. Heineken Experience Heineken is one beer that is available everywhere in the world. The Heineken Experience is all about celebrating this well-known beer, which was first produced in Amsterdam. A fun-filled experience that is more than just another brewery tour can be found inside the structure. On the one hand, you'll be able to observe the brewing process and sample pure alcohol. On the other hand, you'll also get to experience a 3D ride and see several historical artifacts. The journey takes you through each stage, and it culminates in tasting a finished good with a customized label. Verzets Museum The Dutch Resistance Museum Verzets Museum, located close to the Arda Zoo, chronicles life in the Netherlands during the Nazi occupation. 
Long regarded as a hidden gem, this museum is becoming more popular with visitors who can appreciate insightful and frequently moving reflections on this period. An audio guide that will lead visitors through the museum and provide more context for the various exhibits is available for purchase. Additionally, the Dutch Resistance Museum has historical artifacts, film, and sound snippets that offer first-hand knowledge of how the resistance in the nation got its start. Museum Ons Leave Hier op Sauter. Visit the Museum Ons Leave Hier op Sauter for one of the best insights into Amsterdam's early culture. This structure, which is also known as the Museum of Our Lord in the Attic, consists of a church and a home. The alteration of 1578 made it illegal to practice Catholicism in public during the 17th century. Instead, worshippers prayed on the first three floors of this old canal house. The church has survived to this day in remarkably good condition and provides an intriguing glimpse into religious life in Amsterdam at the time. The museum still hosts some events, such as weddings, and it houses some outstanding works of art. Artist Zoo Even though it's small, it's mighty. One of the first of its kind in Europe is the lovely Artist Zoo. The Artist Zoo, located by a canal in the Oost neighborhood, also features an aquarium, a planetarium, and the world's only microbia, microbe museum. Children will adore the variety of wild animals, including elephants, giraffes, big cats, and apes. Families are welcome to picnic or barbecue inside the zoo's boundaries. Artist Zoo hosts some musical performances and unique tours throughout the summer. Koninklijk Palace Amsterdam. The Koninklijk Palace in Amsterdam, one of the three royal palaces in the Netherlands, is situated on the western side of Dam Square in the heart of the city. When Napoleon's brother Louis was crowned King Louis I of Holland during the Napoleonic Wars, the 17th century building, which had originally served as the city's town hall, was transformed into a palace. Although Jacob van Kampen used sandstone to build the exterior, which was designed to resemble Rome's public buildings, the interior is a prime example of the elaborate empire style popular in the early 1800s. Despite being open to the public for the majority of the year, the palace is still used by the Dutch royal house for royal occasions. Rembrandtwis One of Amsterdam's most popular attractions is Rembrandt's former home, which is now open to visitors. The most comprehensive collection of his etchings is on display once you enter, along with memorabilia that inspired his work. With your admission, you can pick up an audio guide that will help you navigate the house and provide a detailed look into the life of this well-known artist. The three daily etching demonstrations are among the highlights of visiting the Rembrandt Thuis. You can learn a lot about Rembrandt's creative process. De Negen Stratjes. There are nine streets between the Prinsengracht and single canals that are just waiting for your feet, as the name implies. The majority of the present-day structures in the area were constructed a century after the original ones in the 17th century. You can see a little bit of local culture and life on the streets. The De Negen Stratjes is lined with small restaurants, boutique shops, and vintage clothing. Shopping here lasts the entire day. This is the place in Amsterdam where you will find the ideal present or memento. Eat at Libertine Cafe or get a coffee at Screaming Beans when you need a break. Schiepvaart Museum The Schiepvaart Museum, or National Maritime Museum, is home to artifacts from Amsterdam's extensive maritime past. The museum, which was originally built in 1656 as a naval storehouse, has 18 rooms filled with displays and artifacts. This multi-story museum illustrates how the Dutch ruled the seas with exhibits that range from depictions of historical sea battles to beautifully drawn maps and 17th century weapons. Sea trade made Amsterdam the wealthiest city in the world during the 1600s. Visitors can get a close-up view of how sailors passed their time at sea thanks to the carvings in the museum. A replica of the Amsterdam, a ship that traveled between the Netherlands and the East Indies in the 18th century, is moored outside the museum. Blomenmarkt The Blomenmarkt is the only floating flower market in the world, and it is situated on the south bank of the single canal between Muntplein and Koningsplein. The Netherlands' famous flowers and bulbs are loaded onto floating barges seven days a week by flower vendors. The Blomenmarkt, which opened its doors in 1862, has more than a dozen different flower and garden shops in addition to gift shops. 
Although locals also shop here, the market's main focus is on serving tourists. Visitors can buy tulips, daffodils, narcissus, and other bulbs as a keepsake of their trip to Amsterdam since the bulbs for sale have been deemed ready for export. Van Del Park Van Del Park, also known as New Park, is a park in Amsterdam's Oudzwood neighborhood, to the west of Museum Square. It was first established in 1865 and given the name New Park. After a statue of Joost van den, Vondel was erected in the park in 1867, the area got its current name. The statue of the renowned 17th-century Dutch poet and playwright, created by sculptor Louise Royer, became such a well-known landmark that people started referring to the park as Vondel Park. The park is a well-liked destination for both locals and visitors to congregate. People can unwind there, play sports on the grass, ride bicycles along the paths, and enjoy a herring sandwich or a Dutch beer at one of the park's horecas. Anne Frank House The Anne Frank House is located along the Prinsengracht Canal and is the most popular tourist destination in Amsterdam. Since 1947, when Anne's father published the diary she kept while they were hidden there from the Nazi authorities, the building that once housed Anne Frank, her family, and four other Jewish people has been seen as a memorial to the Holocaust. In 1955, when builders intended to tear down the building, a plan to save it was conceived. In 1960, the building became a museum. Visitors can see exhibits that detail Anne's tragically brief life, as well as the rooms where she lived. Canals of Amsterdam the renowned canals were constructed in the 17th century to regulate the Amstel River's flow and to add acres of dry land to the city. The wealthy merchants of Amsterdam soon realized that their mansions would look beautiful when displayed along the canals. Visitors can take in the traditional Dutch architecture of the city while relaxing on a boat ride along one of the city's 100 canals. The canals, which are dotted with elm and lime trees and more than a thousand bridges, are home to about 2,000 houseboats, including houseboat hotels. From hour-long excursions to candlelight cruises, tour operators offer a range of cruises. The Ginhof, the center of the circular network of canals in Amsterdam, is occupied by the Beginhof neighborhood, also known as the Begins Courtyard. The region was a walled courtyard that housed the Catholic Beguines Sisterhood in the 14th century. The women at the Begijenhof had the freedom to leave the order if they wanted to get married, so it wasn't a convent in the conventional sense. The Begijenhof Kapel, a charming building with marble columns and stained glass windows, became the Sisterhood's secret place of worship after their chapel was taken during the Reformation. Additionally, located in Begijenhof, the English Reformed Church dates back to 1392. The Beginhof also houses the oldest wooden house still standing in the city, which was built around 1465. Van Gogh Museum The largest collection of Vincent van Gogh's paintings and letters is kept at the Van Gogh Museum, which is situated on the Museum Plein's northwest side. The museum is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Amsterdam, and it is housed in a four-story building that Jarrett Rietveld designed in the 1970s. The second floor of the museum is filled with 200 Dutch post-impressionist paintings. The artwork, which is exhibited in chronological order, gives viewers a close-up view of Van Gogh's changing aesthetic. The third tale details the artist's difficult life and the restoration efforts made on his artwork. On the top floor, there is an exhibition of works by Van Gogh's contemporaries, including Millet, Gaudin, and Da Vigny. Rijks Museum, located in the northeastern corner of Museum Square, is arguably the most significant museum of art and history in the country. More than a million artifacts, dating from the 13th century onward, are included in the collection as a whole. The collection was housed in various buildings across the nation for many years up until 1876, when the architect Pierre Kuypers won a competition for his design and work on the Rijks Museum got underway. The museum, which was founded in 1885, is currently home to about 8,000 items, the most well-known of which are paintings by Rembrandt, Franz Hals, and Johannes Vermeer. Even without admission, Rembrandt's masterpiece Night Watch is priceless. Have you found anything here you liked? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. Thank you for watching.